clock has striketh midnight. Get the f out of there. Oh, oh, no, 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 no. Okay, wait, 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 wait. Cinderella is at a ball. She's wearing glass slippers on a giant night out, and she's just like, yeah, this seems like a chill decision for my first outfit to meet a man, like a potential suitor husband. And she's like with a guy that she met one time, and then she's like, dudes, I gotta go. She starts like running down those set of stairs, and it's not like two steps. This is like a grand ass staircase. And then she's like, oh sh sh And then somehow one of the shoes fucking falls off, and this dude chases her, and then all his like minion people also chase after her. Like with poor and stuff. Yeah, like he sent a full fucking fleet. How do you run on glass full speed with a heel and on stairs and in a giant ass dress? I think that you should do it. I think that there's a 80% chance that I would probably die. You could bleed to death or tumble down stairs. Like we forget about stair deaths. It kills people more than shark deaths. I read that somewhere, but that sounds like a great idea. Make sure you get a pedicure because everyone can see in there. Hi. I was googling on the internet and your Cinderella flipper article appeared and explained everything about it. Turns out that it's an interesting mechanical engineering problem. Do you think glass heels can hold the weight of a human? The stress under which glass would crush is much higher than what a regular typical human standing on it would put on it. You would certainly be okay standing on glass shoes. But also Cinderella is like running in these shoes. The heels are the weak part of the shoe. If you're running too fast, then the heel could potentially chip or break. So why does Cinderella do this? Did she have a choice? Mm, no. I think the fairy godmother just, you know. She fucked her up. Yeah. Do you think we can do this? I think it is possible. You just have to make sure that you step properly and do not stress the shoes too much. All right, we're gonna go make some glass heels now. Yeah, best of luck. And I think you should be fine. <laughs> I like that. All right, I'm here for it. <laughs> Surprise, we're in Dallas. My name is Aaron Tate. I'm a glass maker here in Dallas, Texas. Ooh. Have you seen Cinderella? I have indeed. How do you feel about the scene where she runs down some stairs in some glass heels? I feel that it is not quite possible. So you think that like the fairy godmother was like full of shit? Not full of shit, but apart from the possibility of it breaking, I think that it is more impractical because of its immobility. Cinderella, she doesn't have much, you know? Like she has no cute outfits, she has no cute shoes, and then they put her up in like some glass heels. Very uncomfortable. Even when she's in her highest moment, they still bring her down. We have to make glass seals that will fit Salorm. Are there any like safety precautions that we should take since it's like piping hot glass? Yes, there's a few of them. Eye protection, no open toed shoes in spite What's of that? my example. You what are you doing? just said no. Well, and then just be cautious what you touch. Some things can be hot. Can we help? Yeah. All right, so what are we doing right now? I am giving this uh, standard blowpipe a little bit of an extra heat. This is so hot. Making Ooh, glass. Oh, time for your cool tiny sunglasses. Ooh. Yeah. All right, so here's our first gather. <gasps> wow. And there's a bit of glass. I pressurized the pipe, and I'm holding that pressure with my left thumb. It looks so beautiful. It yeah. looks like a bottle of Ciroc, actually. <laughs> gather that glass. Yeah, got it. Here's a neat thing I can show. I'll dribble some off so you can see <gasps> what? how fluid the glass is oh, wow. from in there. Turn, turn. Tiny hand movements. Tiny, tiny hand movements. All right, so if one of you would care to have a seat on the blue box and prepare steady, smooth, gentle, air on the side of caution. You blew that out of the park. <laughs> So now I'm going to lengthen the bubble and begin to shape it. So here I'm beginning the this neckline. This is like Edward Scissorhands. Please. Your lipstick is all over. Oops. Oh yeah, follow it. And stop. You got the, stop. Hey, Chrissy, we basically kissed now. So our volume and diameter is better now. And also I have these torches. All right, I'm thinking this looks good. So... Woo! Yeah. Woo! So now I'm going to heat it up and Squish it on our shape. I think Aaron is a fairy godmother, and he doesn't even know it. Now I think is the time to pop a hole in it. Ooh! Ooh! He's making a shoe in front of our eyes. Ooh. What? He's cutting glass. That's so cool. Blow. 
And stop and lift up. Oh, Ooh, look at that stiletto. One of you can break it off. Now, careful, because you could ruin everything. Ah! Okay, hit the rod a little hit bit right back right here. There. Yep. Okay. Oh! And then into the oven it must go. The oven is at 900 and a little bit degrees. There she goes. Yeah. There she goes. Yay! Oh, my God. Group hug. Good job, everybody. Yay. Oh, my God. He just got back from Dallas. It was great. So the shoes had to cool overnight, so they got sent to us, and now we're gonna see them today. There was no way for us to know if these were gonna fit me or not, so today's the day we're gonna find out. Yeah, you can't put your foot in like melted glass. I have really big feet, so. No, that's... they're size nine, that's not even big. <gasps> you look so beautiful and magical and perfect. You're in my seat. Come on. Oh. Yeah. Fine. That's right. Wow. Are you ready for this? It's foot time. Okay. Well. <laughs> All right. Here they are. Your custom Cinderella glass slippers. <gasps> oh, oh my, my god. god. Even has a little like thingy jingy. A little thingy jingy, right? Yeah. It's like a loafer meets a heel. This is a thick <laughs> heel, dude. This is thick. This We're is like, like really taking our friendship to the next level because I'm about to shoe you. They're my size, they should fit, right? Yeah, they're custom made to you, but I'm stressed. You too. Okay, this is um, reminds me of when I worked at JCPenney in the shoe department. Oh God, don't go back school. to those days. Oh! Wait a minute. I'm like in, guys, like I'm in the shoe. But you're not in it. Push a little bit more. You don't just, fit. Just push a little bit more. If you put it down on the ground, I can just put it, put it on the ground. I just, I can, ow, ow. Look at your f***ing foot. Let's try the right foot. Okay. You ready for this? Ready. Wait, I gotta go on the other way. I, I see, I see the system now. Ah! I don't think you can do this experiment, Slorm. We can just shave it off. I have a nail file. <laughs> you wanna shave off your <laughs> foot? No, no, not my foot. This one almost fit. Dude. Gotta push the meat in. Wait, Look at me. Wait. Look at me. We need to find somebody else. But I'm the princess. I know, you really are. I'm but your foot dress. doesn't fit. And this is for science, okay? okay. Come on, take it off. We gotta find someone in the office or something. <laughs> you think we can find someone else that can fit into your little shoe? No. Hi. We need someone to fit into this shoe. Oh my goodness. Okay. Be careful. No. Run. Wow. <laughs> Next. You didn't even let me put my foot in. Be careful. There's no way. I've duck feet. I can't wear pumas. I have pretty small feet for a man. I, I think. Gentle. Gentle. Gosh. Gosh. Nope. Bye. Thank you for trying, but this is my dress. She got two toes in. We got two toes. <laughs> Very careful. Okay. And if you feel like it's not going in, just don't don't, don't fight it. it. I don't know. No one's ever told me if it feels like it's not going in, don't. I'm <laughs> I think I gotta go in sideways. No, 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 no. <laughs> there are no princesses at Buzzfeed. Uh, 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 uh. Oh my God, Jen. Hi. What tiny feet you have. It's true, I do have very small feet. <laughs> what size shoe are you? I am a size five. <gasps> Put on the shoe delicately. Okay. Be gentle, gentle. <laughs> You're a princess. I'm a princess. No! Oh, it's okay. No. <laughs> oh, it's So, what's it feel like to have a really tiny foot? Well, today it feels really great. <laughs> I know that you're all like, yay, my tiny cute little foot fit into like a tiny little glass slipper, Oh No, it's done. Now we're on to the real f***ing <laughs> Jen. We're about to find out if you can run downstairs in glass slippers just like Cinderella. Let me go through everything that can go wrong. First of all, you could trip and fall off this beautiful red carpet and die. Second, your glass slipper could crush under the weight of your body, sending shards of glass up into your your feet. You also could like sprain an ankle. Are you ready? I think I'm ready. But we love you and we don't want you to die. So we're gonna put a little crash pad out here. We also will have a paramedic on set. So if anything were to happen, you're gonna be saved by a little prince paramedic today. Okay. <laughs> Go switch outfits. Okay. It'll be fine. Bye. This is for science. You're beautiful. Jane, you look so beautiful. I'll admit you look very nice. <sighs> Deep breaths. Pray that this will not shatter. Test one. Can she walk in glass heels? All right, you're gonna do a little do-si-do -si -do circle here. Okay. Do it. All right, oh. you're doing it. You're How walking. How does it feel? 
Ooh, they feel terrible. Why is this the most awkward thing I've <laughs> ever seen? They're not for human feet, I don't think. No. Okay, well, you, you did, did it! it! Woo! That was so awkward. <laughs> but you didn't die. Challenge two. Jen? Mm -hmm. The clock has striketh midnight. Okay. Your true self will be revealed to the hot dude of your dreams. If you don't get the f out of there. All right, you ready? Uh, yeah, yeah. yeah. All right. Jen, run, 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 We're all good Rocks people. Are well, though. I could try it again. Yeah. yeah, you're a fearless bitch. You ready? Yeah. Three, two, two one. one. Run! 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 I got to the bottom and then you guys pushed me, so no, I think. Do you want to try it one more time? Just one more time. Sure. This time, no handrail. Okay. All right, you ready? Uh, yeah. Three, two, one! That was fun. That was so fun. I'm yeah. so glad that that wasn't us. Cinderella was all like, I'm a beautiful princess just gliding down the stairs. Jen was all like, Hah! you know, like she can't f work a hoop skirt, glass slippers, and like elegance. But those things didn't crack, they didn't chip, nothing. It's like kind of freaky. Yeah, they're kind of like magic maybe. So technically, yes, it is not bogus. But I have a lot of reservations. Yeah. Not bogus, but not comfortable. Bippity. Be Boppity boo. Bippity boppity boo. We found a glass shoe. Is that real? No, That's not real. I don't know. That Remember Brandy and Whitney's rendition though? <clears throat> Impossible. 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 Did she go up or down? They, I think they do it together. Impossible. Impossible. Who am I? Am I Whitney? Duh, I'm Whitney. <laughs>